Um, hi, Philip. Thank you very much for an informative programme. Could you please give some guidance regarding GM infiltration? Oh, GM, yeah. Well, uh, as we said on the programme last night, just this week we've had this um, hammer blow that's struck, and that is the major uh, supermarkets are now lifting their bans on uh, GM-fed meats. And we've all known this thing's been rumbling around in the background, and I've, I've been reporting on it for 10 years or so. But now it's out in the open, and it looks like there's a real muscular push to get this thing now front and centre. And it's bothering a lot of people. Um, so what's the main motive for doing it? Well, the, main, not... the main mo you, you, you will always see accompanying these, this, this whole GM flag waving is this thing that we're running short of food on the planet. And that's a, that's a complete untruth. And the other untruth is that you cannot have the type of spectacular yields thereafter um, with anything other than GM foods. And there's been a number of these sustained farming projects going on in America and elsewhere that show these tremendous yields if you are taking care of the soils and tending the soils and then growing the food in the soil. Um, I think one of the most tragic things about GM is the public, once again, and this is one of the big planks that um, is going to be part of our work in the next year, is the public is simply not being consulted about this, and they're just being told, you're going to have to eat it. Well, OK, well, can we make the choice about whether we eat it or not? No. Well, why not? Well, we're not going to, get you, we're not going to label it. The labelling won't be mandatory. Mm. Just give us an, a, a quick sentence or two about why uh, we should be concerned about GM, you know, genetically modified food. Well, there's been enough studies out uh, to show that GM foods are causing immune system problems, there's been cancer in animals that have fed a GM diet. There's a film that Dr. Gary Null has got out that people can look at online, um, I think YouTube, it's called GMO, The Ticking Time Bomb. There's a, a, a large section of the public that couldn't care less, and they're quite happy to eat it, and then there's a, a bunch of people who are very unhappy. Um, I'm very unhappy for the simple reason that it's completely unnecessary, and it is a corporate agenda that's being pushed and nothing less than, I mean, when you take a salmon uh, and you genetically modify a salmon so it grows twice as big and twice as quick, who's that going to benefit? Mm, the, the seller. Yeah. <laughs> really, basically. And obviously then they would do everything they could to uh, protect their own market, the were, the which safety, is huge. The safety is unscientific. You know, they're saying, no, it's safe and safe, fine. OK, well, let's have the GM scientists eat this stuff for 15 years and then if they're still around, we'll think about eating it ourselves.